Hi guys, uh, Boris Dorfman, LBC Capital here. Um, I read this pretty cool article on uh, forever low interest rates on CNBC. Um, oh, and by the way, we're well on the way to closing our raise in a fund. LBC Capital looks like uh, we're going to hit 40 million under management by the end of this year and we're going to close it off with 100 million next year. And our second fund is going to roll out in June of next year. Higher yielding, more aggressive, more fun, uh, development, uh, defaults, uh, stuff like that. So call me if, you ha if you're not investing with us yet. Our minimum is 100,000 accredited investors only. So uh, interest rates, uh, a lot of talks about inflation. The Fed needs to normalize uh, hike interest rates. So I read this uh, article on CNBC, uh, it was uh, named uh, Forever Low Interest Rates. It was based on a British uh, historian uh, that did research going back to 14th century. And uh, basically he's saying, uh, he's saying that uh, low interest rates are pretty much normal, okay? Whatever we see in the past 20, 30, 50 years, right he went back 700 years uh, i i think about this all the time and uh i have my reasons why i think uh interest rates may remain low and few years before the pandemic i actually called uh mortgage rates into i called mortgage rates uh, that would have one in front, right? Like one and a quarter or something. But pandemic shifted all that, but I really believe we were well on the way to even lower uh, mortgage rates. So my reasonings are following. Okay, uh, I'll put a link to this article uh, down below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link, but uh, these are my top three reasons. Um, we have an enormous national debt, okay, 30 trillion or more, 35, I don't know, uh, I can't keep track, but it's, uh, you know, there's total debt and then there is a payment that we make on that debt. So think of it as your credit card, okay, you have $10,000 that you amassed on your credit card and your monthly payment is 500 and imagine if the interest rate is low, your payment is only 100. You have $100 payment on 10,000 in debt. What do you do? You go borrow 20,000 and pay 200, right? So uh, our government payment on the debt on the 30 plus trillion dollars that we printed more uh, is pretty low because interest rates are low. What happens when interest rates go up? Uh, our debt payments go up. So since interest rates are really low, it goes up a little bit. Our payments can double. Okay, so this is a very serious issue, uh, economic and also political issue. So uh, it's in nobody's interest for the rates to go up and it will have drastic uh, economic and fiscal effects uh, if this happens. So U.S. payments on national debt, this is a big one, okay. Uh, number two, world's demand for U.S. Treasuries and the, our bonds. United States is still the safest country to invest in. Imagine you're sitting in the middle of a third war country somewhere in Africa or Asia or Russia, or whatever. There's people with a lot of money. There's governments with a lot of money. There's pension funds with a lot of money, okay? You think uh, Chinese want to invest in China only? Uh, Norway has a pension plan, uh, a pension fund, it's a government funded pension for uh, all 17 citizens of that country. That pension plan is uh, about 30, uh, is about a trillion dollars, okay? Uh, this is, I think it's called pension plan, whatever, right? So you retire, government pays you, uh, it's their form of uh, our 401k and social security put together, okay? So that country that has 17 people in it has over a trillion dollars. Saudis, every country uh, invests in American markets, American bonds, American treasuries, okay? So the more they invest, the lower are the yields, okay? Uh, basically, that's how free markets work. Uh, we raise the yields, they invest, they buy more paper, more of our treasuries, yields fall, okay? Uh, price of the assets have an inverse relationship to interest rate.
okay anyways i'm getting too technical but the more the entire world invests in the united states the lower are the yields okay this is a big one and this is something that i really don't understand and uh, uh all the chartists out there may uh, this is technical analysis this is looking at the long-term trends and this is what uh, this economist his name is paul something uh, from uh, Great Britain that he's talking about. This is a long-term trend for the interest rate. So basically, over a long period of time, uh, interest rates are declining. And all the TA specialists, technical analysis guys uh, out there can uh, call me and let me know what they think about it because I'm a fundamentalist. I'm looking at the underlying values, uh, uh, the underlying fundamentals. But uh, yeah, but... Based on one and two, it makes sense. And uh, yes, Fed will normalize the policy, but the demand for our government securities will not go away. Insurance companies, pension funds, uh, hedge funds, uh, everybody out there, including you and me, we invest in this too, because in 401k, you have a bond fund. Guess where your money is invested? Our money is invested in U.S. treasuries, uh, in mortgage-backed securities, and the corporate bonds, okay? Uh, our savings rate went up in the past few years. Uh, we're going to be investing more money into mutual funds. They'll be investing more money here, okay, into treasuries. Anyways, guys, have a good weekend. Have a happy Thanksgiving. It's next week, and uh, I'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you.